The story of the Katyn massacre illustrates the essence of communist totalitarianism, both the inevitable violence and the inherent lie which form the eternal soul of communism. It's the story of a mass murder, which was denied by the Soviet perpetrators for 50 years. On the 17th of September 1939, just 17 days after the Nazi German invasion, the Soviets attacked Poland from the east, and Poland was carved up according to the Nazi Soviet Ribbentrop Molotov Pact. The priority of both occupiers was to eradicate the Polish elites. The Soviets rounded up Poland's educated classes and deported over a million Poles to the depths of Siberia. In the spring of 1940, the NKVD executed 21,768 Polish officers, or almost half of the Polish officer corps. They were killed one by one, their hands wirebound, shot in the back of the head, whilst in full military dress, their bodies dumped in mass graves, 12 bodies deep. When they were done, the Soviets filled in the graves and planted pine trees over them. The soil of Katyn was to bury all traces of the crime. Just like the Soviets, from the very start of the war, the Germans carried out numerous mass murders of Polish elites. Whilst the communists murdered in Katyn, the Nazis murdered in Palmyre. In 1941, the former friends turned on each other. Germany invaded Russia. The German Nazis discovered the mass graves of Katyn and decided to amplify the story, to use the Soviet crime to drive a wedge between the Soviets and the West. Despite conclusive evidence proving their guilt, the Soviets simply denied the crime, and Western powers, for pragmatic reasons, chose to ignore it. As Churchill put it, there is no use prowling morbidly around three-year-old graves. When the war ended, Poland was not free. The horror of German Nazism was replaced with Soviet-imposed communism. The very people who had invaded and brutalized Poland, those who had ordered the executions in Katyn, now ruled and hailed themselves as liberators, as they rewrote the history of their many crimes. And though a lie was imposed for 50 years, the Poles refused to let truth die. Truth is an existential threat to totalitarianism, and eventually it led us Poles to our freedom. So if ever your freedoms are endangered, and someone tries to convince you that 2 plus 2 is 5, make sure to proclaim, or at least remember, that two plus two will always be four.